Welcome everyone to a casted game for Stormgate and today we have got Parting versus Coffee battling it out on the Broken Crown Hinterlands map with Parting spawning in the southwest corner of the map playing in purple as the infernal host. Going to be opening up with an early iron vault to get brutes on the map to brutalize their enemy which will be the vanguard faction in the northeast. We've got Coffee playing in blue. Going to be sending that scout out on the map just to find out what the infernal hosts are up to. Most likely they're up to no good but it needs confirmation of it. Now, Stormgate will be coming to you guys in the Steam Next Fest in early February. I can't wait to see you guys play it. You're going to have so much fun, I'm sure about it. And uh, by the way, we've got plenty of games casted for you guys. Six of them are going to be coming your way in total. This is the first of six, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with those casts. I'll be, you know, releasing them as I can get them done in the next few days. Um, and make sure also if you do enjoy Stormgate, what you've seen so far, and you wish to play it, you wish to support it completely free, just wishlist it on Steam. It's such a great help. This is one way we can support RTS. It's one way we can support Stormgate, and it's completely free. Definitely recommend it. Now, what we definitely recommend is uh, the Vanguard to be careful because those brutes will be heading across the map very soon. There's a second base expansion coming out for parting. There is that brute. Now, the thing about the Brute, it's pretty slow on its feet, can't really catch up to the Doggo, can't really catch up to the Scout, so it's going to just look to put some pressure ahead. Anyway, second base expansion coming out for the Vanguard. It's a very typical play for this map. Of course, you've got one ramp that kind of leads to the secondary base that then leads to the primary base, and so second base expansions is pretty common. Now, the Brute going across the map, I think that's actually a recent change on the Broken Crown Hinterlands. I don't think that was open before. It is now, and there's going to be a barracks opening for the, uh, the Vanguard. And the Vanguard are going to likely to need a Lancer or two because the Infernal Host have a really nice timing push. They're a bit slow to get going, as you saw. Like, it takes some time for the Iron Bolt to come out. But take a look now. That brute going to do a lot of damage. It's causing a lot of mining time, idle time for the Vanguard. They don't have an option. But he did deploy, by the way, that very nice overcharge ability that helps those bobs massively. It grants the, all the friendly bobs in that area an 100% increased damage output and also 100 armor for 30 seconds. The Brute going just for the primary now, looking to get as much value as he possibly can. Again, moving those bobs away, forcing the issue, forcing some idle time. But with the first barracks on the map already for the Vanguard, we'll be looking to get maybe a Lance or two to try and push this back. The issue is it has to defend, right? So it has to pull those bobs away from that second base expansion. This is a lot of idle time caused by just a couple of Brutes. And that Brute actually manages to get out of there, which is absolutely fantastic because obviously it's going to continue that damage output. Bob's trying to chase, Doggo tries to chase, Doggo gets taken out, I'm afraid. And, uh, well, now there's two Brutes still alive. Now, bear in mind, these Brutes can split and sacrifice themselves into two Fiends each. And they have really good movement speed. Of course, no real pressure to do that. First Lancer is out now for the Vanguard, looking to push those Brutes back. Three of them now. You can see how they're slow to get going, but once they come along the map, boy, oh boy, do their back. I mean, all these Bobs have to go away from that second base expansion. This is a lot of idle time parting with a great economic advantage now because of this. And the Vanguard do actually get a Biokinetics Lab. So he might be looking to get those Exos, which is a ranged attack unit from the barracks, which would be actually a great option because obviously ranged, they can counter in some ways these melee units. Got two Lancers now, so should be able to push this back. Bob's get back onto the Luminite, which is one of two key resources. Of course, you've got the Luminite in gold and you've got the Ethereum in green. Now, it's going to be a third base expansion coming out for party. Now, this is smart because, of course, he's done a lot of damage in terms of eco. At least caused a lot of idle time. He might not have actually killed any Bob workers, but he's caused a lot of idle time. And that gives him the advantage. Now, behind that advantage, Parting looking to greed it up a little bit. Get that third base expansion. Also getting those resource camps on the map to really double down that advantage. This is great play. He was aggressive. And now, behind that, he's booming away with his economy. And the Vanguard forcing the uh, the walling up with the, with the habitats there. Looking to try and create a bit of a choke points which is actually kind of scary against the infernal host i've got to say by the way because okay it stops the melee units the brutes but what happens later on in the games when the uh the gaunts head out to the field the range units and take a look at that so many conclaves four of them and that's exactly what's going to happen the conclave the production building for those gaunts going to be heading across the map I, I imagine relatively soon once they can of course and by the way just to let you know the shadow cleft was built for the infernal host it does allow an upgrade called hemoglave infusion which increases the unit movement speed of the Gaunt by 50% and uh, allows the Bouncing Glaive's weapon to infest enemy units for the Gaunt, which is absolutely fantastic. And it does. It, we, I, we generally see that being used for the Infernal Host. I can't wait to see it, hopefully, in this game. We shall see. 
what we will see is a vision cam coming out there for party getting that extra vision which is so important right because he needs to see what is happening is going to be pushed is going to be looked to be punished for that third base expansion that's what the vanguard kind of have to do at this point but you can see vanguard moving out now having lost a lot of map control hasn't had much access to all these creep camps which is actually quite significant now it's not game breaking like if you don't get the creep camps okay you lose out on a bit of resources but it does give value to having that map control there's a shroud stone now on that third base expansion it can be a nice static defense for the infernal host now oh, it does get i think that's the first uh, creep camp actually the vanguard got with the vision camp does have the ability to take that little flower which could heal up the units decides to ignore that for now and head back home because he's worried about a push coming in now i think there's actually a third base expansion coming out for the vanguard possibly no i think those are just units actually by that luminite in any case we do see four conclaves out and gaunts are popping out this is very scary now you might be thinking what is that white bar on top of those units it's white bar health which is unique to the infernal host and it accumulates when they're on the shroud which is that lovely glowing kind of hue on the ground near their structures but when they exit the shroud that white bar health goes down we do see a magma doll now plenty of brutes and gods this is where it becomes very scary for the vanguard looking to get that outpost or that turret their sentry post to try and get some static defensive but this is where it becomes really tricky exos trying to hold the lines but ultimately they are ranged units and they're getting absolutely chomped on the bit by those brutes here come the bobs which are overcharged which will certainly help but i'm not i mean it's going to push them away for a little while but it's causing a lot of idle time once again magmadon goes down which is absolutely huge because magmadon an incredibly strong unit and the exo does have the ability to get the uh, research quick draw hustle which when it's attacked it gains 25 percent movement speed for two seconds the problem with the situation the vanguard have at the moment there is lack of space in that area there's nowhere for them to move more importantly those choke points means that if they do get hit they kind of get cornered and that bonus that 25 percent movement speed doesn't necessarily help you so much so that little scout went across the map what that was was the uh, an ability for the the actual command post it gives a scouting information for the vanguard when it is up to the next tier tier two and we see another big big engagement a lot of those exos but the infest comes out for the gaunts the uh, that's absolutely incredible these these gaunts are going to do so much damage now so you see the sort of green infestation on those exo units when the exo units die it spawns two fiends and that helps things snowball so well for the infernal host now this is where the infernal host can put so much pressure the exos they need space they need range but if they get hit by those gaunts, they have to retreat. And, well, there's not much space to retreat to. But there is a sentry post, which has been garrisoned by a melee unit and will be very powerful as a static defense. And uh, speaking of static defenses, we do see that third uh, base expansion very nicely protected for the Infernals. Here comes the gaunts once again. Bruce looking to tank that front line. Magmadon charging in, getting right on top of the Vulcan. The Vulcan could dish out a lot of damage on the gaunts, but he's got to get there. He's got to be able to fire off, and he isn't able to. The Fiend's popping out. This is not looking great for the Vanguard, the Infernal host. Looking to swarm and take those bobs down. Those bobs on the Ethereum patch looking to be annihilated by those fiends. And bobs in the south, and this is where it becomes really tricky. The Gaunts, they're in the choke point. This is where it favors them so much because the Vanguard can't get on top of them. And with this, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are going to see the GG. And I'm pretty sure that will be it. But what I want to say to you guys is that this is game number one of six. So make sure you click the right end card on your screen right now because that will take you to game number two. Hope you guys enjoy this casted game. Take care and see you next time.